If today happened to be your last day on Earth, what would you rather be doing? Steve Jobs had the perfect answer for that question. And in our video today, we discuss the problem-solving skills he possessed that made him extraordinary. You have probably already heard about ENTJs and how most of the successful entrepreneurs we have today have this personality trait. Steve Jobs being described by experts as the epitome of an ENTJ. He was stubborn, abrasive, and often got mad at people who didn't meet his expectations. But one thing was certain. He was one of the greatest thinkers of all time. The first reason why Steve Jobs was so good at problem solving was because he knew exactly what to focus on at any given point in time. In most institutions and organizations, the top traits of a good problem solver are that they don't only focus on the problem, but also on finding the right solution. He has quoted before that people think focus means saying yes to the thing you've got to focus on. It means saying no to the hundred other good ideas that there are. You have to pick carefully. This is a typical attitude of ENTJs, and because of that, employers value them. They are not only able to spot the flaws in a work, but they are also able to find the appropriate solution. What skill do you think he possessed that made him so good at finding the right solutions? We'll enter into that soon enough. Steve Jobs was so good at problem solving because he believed solving problems is more about engaging relevant questions than memorizing facts. What school teaches most people is to memorize materials that they believe will help them in the future. Steve Jobs believed, however, that recognizing a problem as an opportunity and to search for ways to solve it was a more beneficial approach. He said, you've got to have a problem that you want to solve, a wrong that you want to right. According to him, inquiry-based learning gives people the opportunity to approach problems with questions, which will allow them to develop problem-solving skills instead of memorizing facts and figures. If there is anything we know about ENTJs, is that they are relentless when it comes to pursuing their goals. They value getting things done and finding ways to accomplish their goals. Remember we said that Steve Jobs was so good at solving problems because he knew exactly what to focus on. Well, this is because he had a clear definition of the problem. Having a clear definition of the problem helps you understand where exactly to start solving the problem. When Apple started making computers, Steve was always trying to find ways to make them portable yet smarter than they were before. He said, we're going to sell 10 million computers in 1986, whether they look like a piece of shit or they look great. There are going to be these new objects in everyone's working environment, in everyone's educational environment, in everyone's home environment. And we have a shot at putting a great object there. Or if we don't, we're going to put one more piece of junk there. By 1986 or 1987, people are going to be spending more time interacting with these machines than they spend in a car. And so industrial design, software design, and how people interact with these things must be given the consideration that we give automobiles today, if not a lot more. At that point in time, Steve Jobs knew that it wasn't enough to produce these so-called smart items without looking for constant ways of developing them. He had a clear idea of what the problem was and a much clearer idea on what should be done. This characteristic of his made him appear visionary because he could sometimes foretell problems that are likely to happen with a given product, even when most people are not yet aware and are simply enjoying its benefits. Problem solving is all the easier when you ask relevant questions. Why doesn't it work? What should I change to make it work? Remember inquiry-based learning. Soon we'll tell you all there is to know. But before we do that, remember to subscribe to the channel. One other reason why Steve Jobs was so good at solving complex problems was because he lived every day as though it was his last. This sort of thinking allowed him to think productively every second and you valued your time against that possibility. He said, When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, If you lived each day as if it was your last, someday you'll certainly be right. It made an impression on me, and since then, for the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, If today was my last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no, for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. This perception allowed him to think complexly on every matter that he deemed important, 
because he believed it, could be his once chance to offer a solution or the one opportunity he misses to change the world. Steve Jobs was so good at problem solving because he was never satisfied. At every given opportunity, when dealing with something, he asked questions like, why doesn't it work? And what should I do to make it work? When he asked himself these questions, they had allowed him to think critically to arrive at the solution. His workers could attest to the fact that Jobs always wanted and demanded more. After all, things could be made perfect and perfect things can be made more perfect. What do you think about Steve Jobs' mindset and his approach to solving complex problems? Tell us in the comment section down below. We will come your way yet again, and until then, enjoy the rest of your time.